Hello, Voxman Kyle here. I'm on the Vancouver ferry going from Nanaimo to Vancouver to go see Eamon Tobin, which is going to be amazing. So I'm really excited and I thought I'd share with you a uh, beatboxing idea that I had. So this premise is uh, using different sides of your lips to release your sound. I'll give some examples. Yeah, so essentially this premise, uh, it just takes some, some hard coordination. Uh, you can try clenching your teeth or leaving them open, just kind of closing this side of the mouth and leaving this one open, and just singing or humming. Then switching, so you kind of roll your lips, so that this side is open and this side is closed. And you can keep on singing. Where the cool part comes is when that for a moment your lips are closed. So, and the fast transition from one side being open to suddenly closed and then the other side opens gives it this little pop sort of click sort of thing. If you do it fast, you get that kind of sort of effect, which is really the same thing, except it's a finger causing your lips to close for a second. Now, where this technique... Wait, pause. I don't want them to hear my secrets. I share only my beatboxing secrets with those who subscribe to my videos. So where this technique really becomes cool is when you cause, you kind of get in the habit of doing a different sound out of one side and a different sound out of the other side and you learn how to alternate them. So let's say out of my left side I'm going kind of a sibilancy sort of white noise snare sort of thing and the other side maybe I'll go or if I, if I think of anything else, uh, ways to describe this, then I will. Otherwise, hope you enjoy this technique. It's a strange one, but really cool to throw in moments to do a really surprising ear candy in a beat. Thanks. Hope you've enjoyed this. Write me a message sometime. Uh, sun is glaring and I can't figure out how to turn this off. Alright, bye. Oh. Where is that mouse?